Today on the Belsif Show, we're going to work on this a little bit. Well, today, we're going to get back into the LS a little bit and do a few things to it. So stick around. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Belsif's YouTube channel. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Today, what I'm going to do is I want to get the valve covers on and I want to get on the coil packs. I can't bolt the intake on yet because I'm still waiting for my four corner vent kit that I haven't ordered yet, so I should really get ordering that. We had a little change of plans. Hopefully you can understand where I'm coming from. We're gonna go NA for now. We're gonna get it in the van, get it running, and make sure everything's good because the turbo is gonna set me back about a year. So I don't want you to wait a year to see this thing running. So I figured we put her in the van in the spring. We'll get her running NA. And it still should be pretty decent for what I got into it. 1993 GMC Safari van or Astro. Hey, they're all the same. Leave your comments down below and let me know if you, you're all right with that. Because if you're not, I don't want to make you wait two years. This stuff's not cheap, Jim. You know, I'm another probably $8,000. Hey, that's a lot of money. To uh, get everything. So if I go NA, I only got to spend about another $3,000. So leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. I still think the van will be fun in a tire fryer with a six liter in it, that's for damn sure, but we're not going to stop. We are going to put a turbo in, but I was told by a few people, you better get her in the hole first and see how much room you really have, because you never know. So I figured, yeah, what the hell, we'll do that, and we'll run her in a for a year. Have some fun with her, Captain. Hopefully you agree with me. Don't forget to comment below and let me know what you think. But in the meantime, I've got some new gaskets here for the valve covers, so we'll get them off. We'll bring it over here, and we'll do a doodad and whatnot. Because that's what I do. I do that and whatnot. You've got a weird sense of humor, you know that? <laughs> so these are just finger tight, and they'll just pop right off the go. Here we go. So that's it. I just had them finger tight. And this one here has a gasket out already, and it's dirtier than dicks. And I've sandblasted it, so I should maybe... i got to clean this, Jim. I can't put it in like that. It's not that bad. What was I thinking? Not even close to ready. Man, oh man. I need a parts washer for this bitch. Why didn't I clean that before I painted it? What is really going on? I never even thought about it. See, that's what happens when you get video recording, you stop thinking. I don't care what anybody says. It's a true story. I know it's just going to get dirty again, but God almighty. We'll wipe her down a little bit, and we'll see what's what, and we'll kind of go from there. I'm going to have to get some brake clean. Fuck, we can't even put these on today. Can't do it, Captain. Well, here I thought we were going to put these on today, and I can't put these on today because i got to brake clean that because I sandblasted these. And you know there's going to be fine sandblast particles all throughout that oil, so I'm going to have to get some brake clean and spray this out and clean it up before we put them on. Frig! But we can put the oil pan on because I didn't want to do that too, but let me get these off. See, that's the problem with leaving these projects and walking away from while you're waiting for stuff is you forget to do stuff while you're waiting. That gasket's still good, but we're still putting new ones on. I got new ones. Let's put them on. This one here is actually pretty clean, but we're still going to brake clean it. That one there definitely needs brake cleaning. This one here, not so much, but we're still going to do it. In the meantime, I put on the uh, water pump to make sure the intake and everything fits, and it does. So we'll roll this thing over, and we'll maybe mount a pan. You can sit right there, you can. So we'll just grab it, and we're going to roll it. Now, is anything going to come out of this thing? I don't know. We're going to find out. Yeah, the bolt's going to hit, because, you know, that's the way it goes. That's the way she goes, boys. That's the way she goes. Oh, my God. There we go. All right. So just before I do this, I just want to think about a few things here. That's good. That's good. I want to up here. Check my oil. Pickup looks good. That looks good. Yeah, we should be good. We're going to grab a razor blade and we'll clean off all this edge. And just so you know, I'm not going to put it in these two bolts because I might have to adjust this front pan a little bit once I put the balance back on. The back one's good because it goes on the crank. So we're good there. But we got to make sure that we have good clearance because you don't want to clearance it. I know that you still got to get a dip stick. Thanks for reminding me. But we will. And we can put that in after. I already cleaned this once. So all this is probably just from the oil that I put in the engine a few times. Give her a little blow job. Oh, really? That's amazing. Give her another little wipe. So now we'll grab uh, the gasket. I'm going with aluminum Moroso gasket for this application, and that's the way I'm doing it. Moroso it is oh. Friggin' right on. Look at that. It fits perfect. I ordered the right one. Drop them. Look at it. Oh, yeah, we did. Another thing I want to know, leave your comments below and let me know if you're the gasket goop kind of guy. 
It's gonna put a little bit of gasket goop on this, but people are telling me not to, except for the corners where the pan goes. Hopefully you get some gasket goop. Well, there you go. So you can tell I was really prepared for this video. This was an epic fail on doing anything today because I don't have any goddamn gasket goop for where the front pan meets a block. You're supposed to put a little bit of goop in there to help seal it up. And I don't even have that on hand. Oh my God. So what do I need? Give me a list of the comments below. I need gasket goop. I need brake clean and about a thousand other freaking things. So like I said, this was a spare of the moment video and it shows because I have nothing I need. But we can still look to see what the pan looks like because I know damn well that I clean this pan. So the pan is ready to freaking go and I even painted the bolts. I do have something ready, just not what I wanted ready. When it looks like it's coming together. Oh, dick. Awesome. There you go. Joe, might have to give it a little touch up here and here and here, but maybe a little bit here, but really you don't even see it, so it doesn't really matter. There you go. She looks like a brand new pan. Friggin' right it does. I know it's a brand new water pump that none of the pulleys are gonna work on unless they put spacers on it. We got a big job ahead of us. We really do. Baby steps, boys. Baby steps. But that makes it all worthwhile right there. Leave your comments down below if you think I should powder coat this red, like the golf cart or the van or leave it like that. Leave your comments down below. Cause if we do that, I gotta do it before I put it on. But even my heads are starting to get a little bit of the, the tainty back again and I'm from sitting. But you'll never freaking see that anyways in the van. So, especially once the manifolds are on. Let's have a look. Cause we're gonna use these manifolds because they don't have to put turbo headers on it right now. So we're gonna use them manifolds. And there you go. Oh yeah. Friggin' right, oh yeah. They even have the gaskets for them. I just don't know whether I should put them on first or wait until it's in the van, then put them on. We'll probably put them on first because I've seen guys put set these in these vans with exhaust manifolds on. So and there's my coil packs ready to go. Just about. So this is just a, I wish I could have done something video for you on the LS swap, but I did do something. I set an oil pan on top of the engine and I got a gasket out and I pulled a gasket out of the valve covers. What in the hell was that? So we did get something done today. Was it much? Oh, just so you know too, I got my little nuts in. These are for the, uh, to hold the coil packs on. I didn't want regular nuts. I wanted something that looked a little nicer. So we went with some torquey torquies to hold the, uh, them on, which I thought was a great idea. I got these off of uh, Amazon from good old, you know, M6 China. Hey, it is what it is. It's just hold a coil pack on. It's not holding my block together. So that's the only reason why I went with them. But they should be mint. They'll make it look a lot nicer. Friggin' right, they will. But hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did i know it's not a very good video but it's a video and it's a video on something that i haven't forgotten about just been waiting like i said i just got this in the other day i gotta get fittings for these so leave a comment down below if you're a holly guy and you know which fittings i need for these please the size would be great because i need to know the size of them because i have to order some fittings and stuff like that i got these already these are brand new in a box somewhere I was gonna put the old ones back on, but I figured why put why put old ones on? Why don't I put new ones on? Friggin' right, we might as well. So that's where that is. Leave your comments below if you wanna tell me anything or if you wanna remind me to do anything that I might be forgetting here because I'm not perfect and I haven't done this in 20 years. Last time I did an engine put together was 20 years ago, Jim. Oh, look at that. She looks nice. But anyways, like I said, love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. And until next time, you know what to do for now.